I play Ailish Lacey, who is the character that we follow throughout this story. It's the part that Saoirse seems to have been sort of waiting for, and there's an intersection there between the actor and the role, which, if you're lucky, it happens once in your career. It's a, it's a great and obvious piece of casting. You can't imagine anyone else being in the role. I wish that I could stop feeling that I want to be an Irish girl in Ireland. Homesickness is like most sicknesses. It will pass. The scenes I've had her, she bowls you over, really. Just so natural and talented. Why did I ever come here? She loved how well you were doing. And now I'll never see her again. I was completely delighted that she wanted to do it. And I think she's incredible in the film. I think there's so much detail in her performance and empathy. And I think she breaks her heart. He's sweet, and he's funny, and he's got these wonderful eyes. She's extraordinary. I mean, she has a great centred calmness about her as an actor, and just amazing, amazing actor. Cheers. I came into it as a fan of her work and as a fan of John's, and I'm leaving as even bigger fans than before, which is the right way to do it, I think. Can we talk? I knew Donald's work and had been a huge admirer of his and it just felt that he would absolutely be the right kind of actor for Jim because there's a sort of consummate intelligence to Donald. It was just brilliant working with him. He brings an amazing kind of sincerity to the screen. I can't let you just go back to America without saying anything. I want you to stay here. With me. It's my job to make Jim worth staying for, the love there worth staying for, and to create a connection with Sturgeon together that's worth fighting for, and that you would say maybe that's the way to go. And then with Emery, it was also really great in a different way. We had a very kind of interesting relationship from the off, I think. It was chemistry straight away. And background, everybody rocking. You're in a good mood, huh? Yes. I think we kind of went into it and we were sort of allowing ourselves to play at being kind of in character-ish together. I know I was very shy around her, very nervous, and uh, I let myself be that way. We were so lucky with all the people that we had. Now, Edith, from the look of you, you have greasy skin, is that right? What do you do about that? Julie's just exactly what you'd expect from Julie Walters. She's hilarious. She kept us all laughing the whole time. <laughs> I tell you this much, I'm going to ask Father Flood to preach a sermon on the dangers of giddiness. She's very strict. She does, there's no giddiness, as she calls it. But she is motherly and she's guiding. She finds comedy and she finds wit and observation in things that I didn't know <laughs> it was in there. And then with Jim Broadbent as well. It was just lovely. It was just lovely to have him around. He always makes very subtle choices and actually plays him very sort of low energy in a very conscious way, which is rather lovely. Like, he's a quietly spoken authoritative priest. You're marvellous, that's all I have to say. They were all gratifyingly, as imagined. Thank goodness you're back. And I think that as a group, they feel like a fantastic ensemble cast.